We opened an antique store, but it had to be family friendly, where we could work and still have fun. Sometimes you have to climb a mountain or open some new doors to find the treasures inside. This is our life, this is our adventure, this is Curiosity Inc. And good morning everyone. So, on today's adventure I'm out with my father-in-law Dave, who's sitting right next to me there. <laughs> And uh, we are headed out um, just about an hour outside of town to try and track down an engine for that uh, Model A race car that I have. So, uh, well, I say Model A race car, but really it's a midget race car that was built off of Model A parts. So I'm following a lead this morning. There's a fellow uh, outside of town that has a Model A engine. Uh, he had it completely rebuilt uh, several years ago for a project that he just never got around to. So um, that sounds exactly what I'm looking for. So we're going to head out there and have a look and hopefully it's going to end up being a great engine for, uh, for what we need. So let's go check it out. Let me see. It's a Honda 50 Cub. Everything you can imagine. Is that right? If it's an antique, yeah, yeah. he's always keeping his eye open. <laughs> What's the uh, boat motor sitting over there? The red and uh, uh, white one. I think that's a Nesca or something. I've got a, a couple or three of them. And then uh, the John Deere hit and miss. Do you know what model that is? It's an oldie down there. Yeah, I think that's a two, two horse. Well, they had only had three in a John Deere's. What's that? They only had th made three John Deere's, one and a half, two and a half, and, a, and I think a five or a six. Yeah, I, did. Yeah, I, I don't know. Well, I, did, I, I, just, right. I just sold, sold one, uh, the other one I had there, but they didn't have a magneto. That one there instead of a magneto on it. And then there's the engine right there. It looks like he's got it. There it is, chained into the bucket. It's always handy when a guy has a tractor sitting around the yard to help lift up something heavy like this. So we're going to try and get it in the back of the old truck here. So this is the engine here. Uh, this is out of about a 29 Model A. He'd rebuilt this motor about 10, 12 years ago for a project that he never quite got around to. Um, it has been sitting in his shed, but uh, it is still free. So um, uh, we tried the starter on it and it's cranking over. So it looks like it's got some potential. So uh, with any luck, this is going to be the new unit for uh, my race car. Probably not going to leave it the John Deere green that it is right now. I'll try and find something a little bit more sporty to uh, to change it to. They also make um, headers and uh, aftermarket intake, so you get a little bit more racier setup on there. So a little bit of extra work to it, and uh, should come along nice. That's Straight in now. Yep. So we'll pick it up a bit. Dip it down. Yeah, just angle it down a little. You're in far enough, you're gonna have to slide it. Keep going. Hold it there, hold it there. Okay, so we got the engine home safe and sound. It's in the back of the truck. So here's the car. There's the motor back there, and uh, we have to get it basically off with our cherry picker, our engine hoist, and um, keep it stowed safely in the garage. So that's what we're gonna do. And the other day I jacked the car up on uh, axle stand so it was a lot easier to get to. What we're gonna have to do, um, now that the engine area is all free, um, is get the engine there. That's the Model A motor that we got, it was rebuilt. Don't ask me why, the guy repainted it John Deere Green. Uh, probably because that's the paint he had when he got it back. But it looked good on the inside, it turned over, and uh, it's not a bad motor. So we're going to get it on our uh, engine hoist here and uh, bring her in the garage. So Dave, you think we got her? I think so, so far. So um, we wrapped a heavy-duty strap around it. Um, it's pulling on uh, the back and the front of the engine, so it's not uh, impeding any of the starters or anything important. It is uh, out of the back of the truck and floating, levitating in midair here like a magician. So we're going to get it moved around to a safe spot in the garage and lower her down. And ever so slowly, down she goes. I don't want to leave it suspended in the air until we're ready to try getting it in place. Perfect. There. <laughs> there we go. 
So there we have it. We got the engine home. We just have to track down a transmission now. Then next we can start working on this frame and try and get it in the car over there. So a little bit more work to do, but things are coming along. So thanks so much for tuning in and watching these shows. Um, as we progress here, hopefully this thing will come together and by the end we'll be driving this around a track next summer. Um, if you like our channel, make sure to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. You can like our videos too. Um, check us out in store, live in person. Uh, we are an actual antique store in Edmonton. Um, or check us out online at our website at www.curiosityedmonton.ca. Thanks so much for tuning in, everybody, and we'll see you all soon. Bye for now.